Hey everybody, welcome to the SEO module. Um, it's going to be a short one because kind of covered the way the bookmarks and everything works over in the social media module. Um, what I'm just going to show you here is how the Web 2.0 importer is going to work with Sindwire Buddy, FCS Networker, RankWiz, and pretty much any other importer that you, uh, that any other um, account creator that you're working with. Um, so we're going to be adding um, support for absolutely every single one of them. So you'll be able to actually have a, a text pad input and just allocate if it's going to be the username, password, so on and so forth in a, in a sort of um, Excel spreadsheet type of way. But I'm probably getting a little bit ahead of ourselves right now and probably confusing you a little bit. So forget about what I just said there. Um, let's just get straight back to what it is that I want to discuss here, which is the SEO module. And um, and again, it's very similar to the social module. The only difference is here is that we're talking about auto login or um, in the importing of accounts that have been created with other account creators like Sinwire Buddy, excuse me, or FCS Networker and RankWiz and so on and so forth. So I've created an account already for this guy here. And what I do is, is I'm going to open up the browser, and we're going to do import. And we have the browser, so that will import basically bookmarks from other projects. And this is going to import the um, bookmarks that you're going to, this is going to be from an external fo folder. And we're going to have the Sinwire buddy here soon, and we're also going to have RankWiz there as well. So we're going to pretty much support every main account creator that's out there. So, okay, and if we can just go into the account here, it is there. And here are all of the accounts we just imported. These were just created in FCS Networker. And the cool thing about this is they were just created in FCS Networker on this exact proxy. So when I just click on that and navigate to the site and I go log in um, that will then actually I don't think it's gonna work I think we need to still customize this but you see the uh, it's recognized the form I think this is gonna need to be the email address but let's just try that yeah it needs to be the email address so what we do there is in this case you just basically need to right click CP on top we've got this thing called the CP on top window which is the copy paste window and what that means is all you need to do is come here click on the email field you don't even need to copy it, you just need to click on it, it automatically copies it to your clipboard and then you come back here and paste and then the password's already been put in so we're just going to log in and we can close this down and it should log, on, log in because this was just created a couple of minutes ago with FCS Networker and there you go, this is your account. So you could now customize this yourself if you're doing things on a little bit of a smaller scale. So you can then go to your account and find the settings and then just basically go ahead and, and, and you know, customize, you know, add the image for yourself, maybe link it to a Facebook account, a Twitter account, and then you can go through all of the accounts one by one. Here's another one, Academia. Um, and, and now, okay, it's not finding it, but that's, this is, again, it was created um, by FCS Networker. So, you know, FCS Networker is not 100% accurate. It's not always going to create the account. Okay, this has worked. Login. So we'll come to the login page. And there you go. It's included the member name and the password and login. And that should be logging into blackplanet.com. Um, still loading there. Continue to Black Planet. It was an ad. There you go. Logged in. Okay. And it's going to be the same thing with pretty much all of them, right? I mean, I am not quite sure which ones were successful and which weren't. So let's try one more. There you go. That's worked. Let's recognize the username and the password, and we go ahead and click there and logged in. Beautiful. Right, so now I'm sure your mind's probably moving at a million miles an hour as to the amount of um, 
I guess the amount of applications that you can use this in. I mean, you can just go ahead and customize it yourself. You can use the outsourcer module, which is in here, and I will get to that. I will get to that. Creating licenses and so on and so forth. I think we've got a misspelling there. Okay, we'll get to all of that. The developer. Not known for their spelling qualities. Anyway, so we'll get to the outsourcer module and how that was, that's all going to work. In the meantime, um, if you aren't used to working with lots of VAs and outsourcer, outsourcers, then you know this segments everything for you and brings everything together in one customizable, one unique um, project per project so that you've always got access to them. And then you've got the automation. So if you're using FCS Networker, you can come in here and customize them, make them as real as possible, add the images, profile images, add a little bit about me, um, link out to your website from the... Um, the uh, forum signature or the si signature section, each side is going to be a little bit different. But the point is, when you have all of your accounts that you're managing on Tier 1, Tier 2, and Tier 3, um, and you're managing them like this with Browsio, and you have access to them in real time with the browser, with the ability to customize and keep everything real and be part of that, that community, you end up driving traffic from these sites. Blog I go, Academia, Black Planet, Foreshare, Daily Strength, Evernote, whatever they might be, Tumblr, Twitter, Reddit. I mean, you know, I will show you a case study of a brand new site that I put up a week ago, a week and a half ago. Um, I did a post on Reddit in a profile that I've been cultivating for the last couple of months. And the post, it didn't go viral, but it generated about a thousand visitors overnight. I mean, that's not to be um, sniffed upon. Right. I mean, if you can generate a thousand visitors a day from Google, you're laughing a thousand visitors a day. I mean, the idea is, 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 is you focus on the social media and, and be real on social media. And what that does there is that helps all of your SEO efforts and it also helps drive traffic. Right. So I'm not going to go too much or really any more into how the actual training works, how to do SEO. I'm sure a lot of you, most of you already know about SEO, how SEO goes, how, how you need to do SEO. Um, we're going to be including in the members area, there is going to be the basics of SEO, what you need to know, how to put your sites together, how to structure sites, how to tier your sites, how to tier your backlinks, how to deal with all of these tiers in the most effective way possible. Um, but right now I'm just showing you how Browsio works and how Browsio can fit within your SEO campaign. So whether or not you're using FCS Network or RankWiz, um, whether or not you're, you don't even need to be using any of these automation tools, you could be just totally managing your tier one using outsourcers. So you can go ahead and give as many outsourcers as you like this um, build, you have the ability to customize it completely, and I will get into that into the outsource in the outsources module. But that's for another video altogether. So I'm going to stop the video here. Um, I hope this has given you a great understanding on how the SEO campaign manager is going to work. It's also going to have the ability here in the same way as the FCS Networker is. Is you're going to have Joomla, WordPress, and um, Drupal Gardens and one other account, which can, which always escapes my mind, I can't remember, where you're going to have the same exact option there where you just import your PBNs for this profile. And that will give you um, the same thing here. So when you click on it, it'll send you to the site and then you click here, the login, and it will automatically log you into your PBNs. So I'm not going to show you a profile now with my PBNs. I don't have any throwaway PBNs right this second that I want to, that I can show you. Um, that's linked to any of the profiles. I'm actually using this. This is what I use every day, all day long for all of my SEO. And it's the reason I built it. I built it for me. But it's too awesome of a tool. And I want to make sure that everyone that is using not just FCS Networker and Sindwire Buddy and these other um, automatic account creators, those who aren't using these, those who just are 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 just focusing on social media and those who are just focusing on SEO without the automation can manage fully your tier one, tier two, and tier three completely with Browsio. Whether or not you're using it for yourself managing one or two sites or 20, 30, 40 profiles like I am over here. And again, this is just the beginning of Browsio. There are so many more features coming in the SEO module. And um, I hope this has given you at least a broad understanding of what is to come and what you can expect and what there is already in there. So, um, guys, have an awesome weekend. 
If you've got any questions, queries, you'd like to know a little bit more or have any questions about what we've just covered here, please comment below. Get in touch, get into the forum, get into the Facebook group, and um, let's 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 have a chat. All right, guys, have an awesome weekend. Peace.